Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through settings here in Windows 11 that you can check and change to increase privacy and security. Please be sure to check the notes down in the video description where I'm going to post links to other videos that I've made that overlap with this one. And so you do want to make sure that you check those out in order to maximize all of the settings for maximum privacy and security. To get started, I'm going to come down here and click on the Windows Start button, search for settings, and then open up settings. And the first thing you'll want to do is click on system and then scroll down just a little bit until you see remote desktop click on this if you are not using remote desktop you need to make sure that this is turned off and also make sure that this box is checked next let's go to bluetooth in short when you're not using bluetooth this should be turned off it is a security risk to leave it turned on and I know it's inconvenient, but when you're traveling, I would strongly recommend getting into the habit of using wired or cabled devices. Again, I know it's not convenient, but it is better for security. Also make sure you're coming in here and checking which devices are connecting to your Windows computer. Next, go to network and internet. Same thing as with Bluetooth. If you have Wi-Fi on your Windows device and you're not using it, make sure this is turned off. Also, if I click on this option, if you see an option here for random hardware addresses, make sure you turn this on. Not all Windows devices support this, so you may or may not see this option. But again, if it's here, flip it on. And then back here, network and internet, if I scroll down, advanced network settings, scroll down to more settings, and then right here, advanced sharing settings. If I click on this, you will just want to double check these network sharing and visibility settings underneath private. It's generally okay if you're on a private network to leave these on if you have a use case, if not, turn them off. But for public, I would definitely turn these off unless you had a specific situation that you needed them. And then underneath all networks, just double check to make sure encryption is enabled. Make sure this is off and turn on password protect sharing. And again, I would not change these settings from what you're seeing right here unless you had a specific use case. Next, let's go to apps, click on installed apps, and this will give you a list of all the applications installed on your Windows device. I would strongly recommend going through the entire list, remove everything you don't use, remove all the junk, the clutter, the less applications on your computer, the better. Any legitimate application can be hijacked by hackers and it increases privacy the less applications you have. When you find one you can remove, click on this little menu and click on uninstall. Also, if I go back to apps, Underneath advanced app settings, this option, when it's set to anywhere, will allow you to download and install anything from the internet. If you are someone who is not responsible and has had problems with downloading and installing things they shouldn't, you may want to consider the Microsoft Store only. I know not everything is available there. And I also know that sometimes, whether it's the Microsoft Store or even the Apple Store, sometimes malicious applications do slip through, so it's not 100% foolproof. But just be aware you do have this option, or you could try one of these other options as well. Let's go ahead and skip down to privacy and security. I would strongly recommend that you go through every option on this list, but I'm going to focus on the main things that you definitely want to check. First off being underneath general, make sure all of these are turned off. I would also make sure everything is off underneath speech as well as inking and typing. Uh, diagnostics and feedback, I would make sure these are off and then also underneath delete diagnostic data, you can come down here and hit delete to clear that out. And then if I go back, activity history, same thing, turn it all off to increase privacy, hit clear history, and then I can go back. And again, you'll just wanna go through and turn off as much here as you can to increase privacy. Location, camera, and microphone are three things that are very, very sensitive. I would absolutely turn these off if you don't have a situation where you need them. Obviously, if you're using your device for a meeting or something like that and you need the camera and microphone turned on, you can come in here and turn it on as needed, but when you're finished, turn it off. And I would turn it off for everything when it's not in use. And again, I would go through every single section here, but another couple ones that you'll want to focus on. If I skip down to pictures, videos, file system, double check all of these, turn them off as needed. You just want to double check to see what's accessing your private information. After you have gone through everything on this list, go over to Windows Updates. Here you'll just want to double check to make sure that you are up to date. Updates do include security updates and so you absolutely need to update when you can. If you see an update, just click on download and install. Now after you've gone through that list, come back down to the start button, type in control panel and open it up. Click on system and security. This is the old list from the 
previous older Windows days. Most of what we've already touched on either in this video or one of the videos down in the video description. I've already hit most of these options, but there are a couple here that I do want to mention. Change user account control settings. This is UAC. It was never the foolproof feature that Windows intended, but it still does help because it gives users an extra chance to rethink what it is that they are doing, installing, or changing on the computer. I have mine set to always notify. You can go with the recommended setting, but I would increase it just to make sure there are no changes being made without your consent. And then back here, also just double check allow remote access we touched on this earlier but just double check to make sure this is unchecked and set to don't allow if you have a specific use case for this come back here enable it and then disable it when it's not in use also if your windows device supports it enable bitlocker for drive encryption again if you go down to the notes down in the video description there are some free alternatives that you can use for disk encryption as well as file and folder encryption and those are the main settings that you do want to focus on here in windows 11. i will also mention that it is important to go into your BIOS settings on your Windows device and double check the security settings there. But if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Again, please make sure that you check the links down in the video description. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day.